Today, I'm in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, getting ready to shoot a new three minute short. For the short, I want to take ordinary mundane objects and craft a story around them. The subject matter for the short are going to be the objects in this workshop. In order to capture these shots, I'm going to use both the K-Pod system and Hercules head. So what I want to do in this video is give you a quick look at some of the features of both the K-Pod and Hercules head, as well as give you a behind the scenes look of the three minute shorts by showing you a few different configurations you can do when using this system. The K-Pod system and Hercules head were initially designed as a support solution for the KC Complete. However, it's now used in multiple configurations when shooting. What makes the K-Pod unique is its double strut legs and incremental lock pockets. The lock pockets allow you to equally adjust the legs while providing a lock that won't slip. The K-Pod also has a pop lock spreader system that locks the legs in a pre-stressed position so you don't have to worry about any instability when shooting in heavy load conditions. It also acts as a frame when using various dolly configurations. I'll go over those uh, configurations more in depth in the behind the scenes of the three minute short. Now the weight capacity of the system is 500 pounds. You can pretty much mount anything that you want to the K-Pod. The K-Pod also has interchangeable feet or wheel options, depending on your shot requirements or configuration. It comes standard with the pad feet, but you can purchase other options as well. The first option is the dual locking dolly caster wheels, which I normally use in the studio configuration. If I'm shooting out in the field, there's also two other options. The first is the dual locking all-terrain wheels, and the second are the stainless steel spikes. Either one of these are great options in the field. If I don't need to have the option of quickly moving the K-Pod system, I'll probably use the stainless steel spikes. Now the last option you have for wheels are the swiveling track dolly trucks. Now there's two different options for idler arms. If you're using the K-Flex track, you're gonna to wanna to use the three inch arm. However, if you're using the standard 24 inch track, you're gonna to wanna to use the seven inch arm. This allows you to use the K-Pod in conjunction with your standard 24 inch rails. Now I'll go more in depth on showing you how, kind of how to install all these different options onto the K-Pod when we go through the different types of configurations. Adjusting the height of the K-Pod is simple. All you need to do is loosen the screws just enough so they go outside of the lock pockets and lift your legs to the height you desire. And then once you have the height you desire, simply screw in the legs when it's in the lock pocket and tighten it down. And repeat for the other two legs as well. When you screw in, you want to make sure that it's inside of the lock pockets and it's not higher or lower than lock pockets. That will ensure that uh, everything is stable. Now to lower, you simply loosen just enough for it to go outside of the lock pockets and bring the system back down and tighten your knobs. Now when you want to tear the system down, the first thing you need to do is lift the pop lock spreader and then place it in the bag. Now what I've found when using this system is that it's most versatile when used in conjunction with the Hercules head. For the Hercules head, you would have to purchase a tripod head that would end up costing between $1,000 and $1,500 if you wanted to properly support the original Kester crane. In most cases, this just didn't make any sense because you'd end up spending more on your tripod head than the cost of the actual crane. As a result, Kester crane developed the Hercules head as an affordable solution to support your crane. Whether used in conjunction with the K-Pod or other tripod legs, the Hercules head is a great way to support your cranes, jibs, or sliders. There are a few unique features of this system as well. The first is the BioGlide technology for extremely smooth pan and tilt movements. 
The second one is the spring assisted drag control. So if you need to fine tune your drag, you simply tighten or loosen this knob for your pan and this knob for your tilt. Now there's two other major features of the system as well. The first is the weight capacity and the second is the ability to lock off your tilt. The weight capacity of this system is up to 150 pounds. Now if you want to lock off your tilt, you simply take the pin that rests here and slide it into its lock position and you now have locked off your tilt. Now what this does when you lock off your tilt is turns it into a fluid swivel mount. Now if I'm either using the KC Complete, uh, the Pocket Jib Basic or Pocket Jib Pro, I definitely recommend locking off your tilt as the whole system will be much more stable. Now there's two other features as well with this system. It has a built-in bullseye for leveling, so if you need to level off your head, you simply loosen the bottom here and you can adjust your head. And then it also has an adjustable handle, like many other tripods. If you need to remove it, you just pull it out. If you want to put it in and lock it down, certain types, uh, simply tighten that knob and it's locked down. Now, like many other Kester Crane products, it also comes with a lifetime warranty. So if you have any issues with this head whatsoever, simply contact Kessler Crane and they'll be able to help you out. Mounting the Hercules head to the K-Pod is very similar to how you would mount any head to any tripod. Simply loosen the knob, remove the washer, and drop the head onto the K-Pod. There's two different ways you can mount the washer. If you want access to the leveling of the head, you want to do flat side down. However, if you're using either the Pocket Jib Basic, Pocket Jib Pro, or KC Complete, you're going to want to do flat side up, as your whole system will be much more stable when you do that. Um, for this one, I'm going to put flat side down though, so I do have access to the leveling function. So I'm going to tighten this knob, and the Hercules head is now mounted to the K-Pod. Now what I want to do in this shot is have the camera track along the objects on this shelf. Now in order to capture this shot, I'm going to use the K-Pod system, Hercules head, and Cine slider. Now there's two different ways you can attach the Cine slider to the Hercules head. You can either use the new Kessler quick release system, or you can take two screws and attach a Cine slider directly to the Hercules head. Now I definitely recommend going the route of the Kessler quick release system, because then you can easily switch between cranes, jibs, sliders, or if you want to attach a camera directly to the head, you can do that as well. Uh, for this setup, I'm going to be using the quick release system so I can just quickly switch between these different setups. So all you need to do is open up the quick release system and drop the slider into place. Now for this shot, I'm using the utility plates to attach the slider to the Hercules head. There are a few different plate options, uh, but for this setup, I definitely recommend going the utility route um, as everything's just way more stable uh, with that plate. Another advantage of this configuration is the ability to do vertical moves. So what you want to do is loosen your pan, line up the cine slider so it's going to fall between the two legs of your K-Pod, tighten down your pan, and then loosen your tilt and drop the cine slider. In this configuration, I definitely recommend motorizing the cine slider. Now the next shot I want to do is have the camera track up the bins. And in order to do that, I'm going to use a pocket jib. Now there are a few different shots I want to do with the pocket jib, so I'm going to switch out the pad feet uh, with a set of wheels. Now there's two different wheel options I have. I could use the dual locking dolly caster wheels, but the cement's cracked up a little bit here, so I'm going to use the dual locking all-terrain wheels. Now to replace these feet, all you need to do is take, uh, spin out the pad feet, And once you have the feet unscrewed, 
you want to take your the wheels that you're going to be using and screw them in. Now there's two different holes here that you can screw your feet into. Uh, the, the smaller ones are for the pad feet and spikes and then the larger uh, threads are for your wheels or trucks. So now the wheels attached. You'll want to repeat for the other two as well. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is attach those two feet and then attach uh, the utility plate to the pocket jib so I can attach the pocket jib to the Hercules head. So what I'm going to do next is remove the utility plate from the cine slider and attach it to the pocket jib. So I'm going to take the two screws out. Now these two screws that are currently screwed uh, into the utility plates, attaching the cine slider to the utility plate, are the same screws you'd use if you wanted to mount the cine slider directly to the K-Pod. So you use these two screws here. So I've just removed the utility plate from the cine slider. Now, in order to attach the utility plate to the pocket jib, you're gonna need two thumb screws uh, to attach this plate, to these two here. So I'm gonna take the utility plate, put it underneath the pocket jib, line up the holes, and then screw down into the utility plate. And now the utility plate is attached to the pocket jib. So I'm going to go ahead now and attach the pocket jib to the K-Pod system. The last configuration I want to go over is showing you how to use the K-Pod in conjunction with the K-Flex track. What I'm wanting to do with the shots is track along the ceiling, passing through the chain and airplane. Now there's a few things to keep in mind when you are using this configuration. The first is to make sure your idler arm is on the single leg of the K-Pod. So the side of the track that only has one leg of the K-Pod is the side you want the idler arm on. The second thing you want to be aware of, if you're using the seat and push bar, is that you want to install the seat and push bar on the side that has two legs. So for this configuration, if I'm going forward with this, I'd want to install the seat and push bar on this side. Now it's also important that you install the push bar on the same leg as you're installing the seat. I'm going to go ahead now and kind of show you how to install both the seat and push bar. The first thing I do when I install the push bar is remove the back bracket and then take the push bar, slide it through the double strut leg and then tighten down the back bracket to the push bar. And the push bar is now installed. And then take the seat and you're going to notice on the seat on the brackets there's outsets and these outsets are supposed to go inside the lock pockets you're able to also adjust the height of the seat uh, based on what lock pocket you put it in so i take the seat line it up in the lock pocket and then tighten down this screw you still want to leave it, leave it a little loose so you can move this seat and i'll take a bolt in the nut slide it through the seat and then tighten it down and the seat is now installed so you'll see you can take the push bar and slide the whole system down the track now in most scenarios I'll use the push bar and seat if I'm operating directly from the Hercules head so if I have my camera attached to the Hercules head this would be the setup I'd use when using the k-pod in conjunction with the seat and the seat mount you can accomplish low shots what you want to do first is remove the four screws on the bottom of the seat. And once you've removed the seat, you'll want to grab the ball relocator and attach it to the seat mount using the same four screws that you used for the seat. And once you have the ball relocator attached, you want to grab a head, be it the Hercules head or a different head, and drop it into the mount and then screw it down.
Now what you can also do with this configuration, if you want to mount a slider to this, you can use the quick release system and attach your slider directly to the Hercules head. Now with this configuration, you can also adjust the height. So if you want to go a little bit lower or a little bit higher, you can do that. All you would do is adjust your seat mount here and there's a bunch of lock pockets all the way up and down. So you can fine tune uh, the height of your setup.